This video was made possible by Mizizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit MiziziShop.com for more information. South Africa's imminent election heralds a potential turning point, not just for the nation, but for the entire continent. As candidates engage in fervent last-minute campaigning and pledges, one standout figure is John Stinhuizen, who is steadfast in his belief that he possesses the qualities necessary to ascend to the presidency. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. John Stinhuizen, the leader of South Africa's opposition, remains undeterred in his ambition to one day assume the presidency, even in the face of complex challenges such as racial dynamics and the long-standing dominance of the African National Congress. With a firm belief in the Democratic Alliance as South Africa's pathway to advancement, Stinhuizen has been a vocal advocate for the party's vision since the 1990s, when he first joined as a youthful activist. Emerging from the legacy of apartheid-era politics, the DA positions itself as a centrist alternative to the ANC, rooted in liberal principles and a commitment to progress. John Stinhuizen, a prominent figure in South African politics, joined the Democratic Alliance in the 1990s as a young activist driven by a desire to challenge the country's stagnant status quo. Despite not completing his university degree, Stinhuizen's determination to pursue a career in public service remained unwavering. He quickly made his mark, becoming one of Durban's youngest councillors at just 22. However, his ascent faced a setback in 2010 when he resigned as the DA's leader for KwaZulu Natal due to a scandal involving an extramarital affair. The Democratic Alliance has traditionally been seen as a party representing the interests of white, Asian, and colored communities, despite these groups comprising only a small percentage of South Africa's population. To broaden its appeal, the DA appointed its first black leader, Musi Miamene. Regarded as the party's potential path to the presidency, Miamene's departure four years later left the DA's grappling with internal challenges. He criticized the party as unsuitable for uniting a racially divided South Africa. Critics noted the DA's predominantly white leadership and one of a shift towards right-wing policies as key officials resigned alongside Mamene. John Stinhuizen believes the competence and the ability to deliver are more important than racial identity in politics. He opposes race quotas in the workplace, arguing they are crude and ineffective. However, some analysts criticize his approach to racial issues, suggesting he lacks awareness of the challenges faced by many South Africans. Despite this, Stinhuizen remains popular within the DA, winning re-election twice with overwhelming support. Some attribute his influence to Helen Zeal, the former DA leader, who continues to play a significant role in the party and is seen as essential for its future by some analysts. The Democratic Alliance faces a challenge in the upcoming elections with polls indicating a significant drop in support compared to previous years. To secure enough votes for power, party leader John Stinhuizen has formed collisions with smaller parties and has not ruled out the possibility of partnering with the ANC if necessary. Despite his willingness to cooperate across party lines, Stinhuizen maintains a tough stance against rival parties, often employing harsh rhetoric in his criticism. However, he has shown a more relaxed and humorous side as demonstrated during his appearance on a popular comedy podcast. Despite mixed reactions, Stinhuizen is seen as charismatic and experienced, pledging to address key issues such as unemployment and power cuts if elected. The Democratic Alliance faced backlash this week for its controversial ad featuring a Benin national flag. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa condemned the ad as treasonous escalating tensions between political parties ahead of the upcoming election. The ad, released by the DA, symbolizes the perceived dangers of the ruling African National Congress forming a collision with left-wing parties. Despite the ANC's historical significance and solid support among black South Africans, recent years have seen a decline in its popularity 
due to various challenges including poverty, inequality, unemployment, corruption, power supply issues, and crime. While polls suggest the ANC may lose its majority, it remains the largest party, potentially leading to collision negotiations. On May 29, nearly 28 million registered South African voters will participate in the country's seventh democratic general election, casting ballots for representatives in the national and provincial parliament. These elections have occurred every five years since 1994, marking the end of white minority rule and the ascension of the African National Congress to power. Under the leadership of President Cyril Ramaphosa, the ANC faces mounting challenges, including high unemployment rates, economic disparities, corruption allegations, and frequent power outages, which have eroded its popularity. The main opposition party, the Democratic Alliance, contends that South Africa is in crisis and advocates for economic liberalization and increased privatization to stimulate job creation, end power shortages, and reduce violent crime. The economic freedom fighters, led by the outspoken Julius Malema, the third largest party, proposes radical economic reforms to address unemployment and inequality, including land redistribution and nationalization of key industries. Former President Jacob Zuma, ousted amid corruption allegation and subsequently jailed, supports a new rival party, the Umkunto We Suizui, which aims to transform South Africa and create 5 million jobs. In the election, South Africans will not directly vote for a president, but will elect members of the National Assembly, who will then select a new head of state within 30 days. Who do you think will be the new leader of South Africa? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.